the city of Charlotte has a goal to eliminate traffic deaths and serious injuries for all who share our streets by 2030. So on this morning's edition of Saturdays with the city, we are talking with traffic safety manager Jeff Sloop with Vision Zero. Thank you for being here this Good to morning. Be here, Absolutely. And so, you know, obviously we see so much uh, construction going on across the city of mm -hmm. Charlotte. Um, how has that impacted the goals of Vision Zero? So when construction comes in, we work with those developers to try to create um, accessible crossings with the, around their developments to help people cross the street more safely. Absolutely. Um, so for people who don't know a lot about Vision Zero, can you kind of talk about the programs and what you want people to know about the work you're doing? So generally the Vision Zero is trying to eliminate the, the serious injury and fatalities across the city in Charlotte. So we look at that by looking at the five year crash history um, that we create the high injury network and base our project locations off that. Right, and I know that that network includes areas all across the city. Mm -hmm. Um, so especially now it's summertime, of course, so you've got kids out of school, things like that. How important is the education around this program? Education is key. I mean, we tr we go out and we talk to residents. Um, some haven't even heard about Vision Zero. So it's like we tell them how what we put in, how to get in contact wa with us, and then, you know, generally how to just make safety the first priority no matter where they're going. So if someone who's watching this is thinking, well, gosh, I know about an area that I'm worried about. I think it could use, you know, a, a crossing walk or, or something like that. How do they kind of become a part of the process with you? So the best way to always get in contact us with us is uh, call 311 or through the CLT Plus app. Um, that gives us a chance to document that. And then we go out and investigate. And then we always reach back out to those people that put in those concerns. Absolutely. Um, and I know you'll be out at Camden Commons mm -hmm. tomorrow. Talk yes. a little bit about what you'll be doing there. So it's a street festival. They have local vendors, music, food and games for and it's family friendly. And we'll be out there just basically spreading awareness about Vision Zero. Uh, again, telling people how to get in contact with us, some of the things we've installed throughout the city and just kind of, you know, general educating the residents. So I imagine there are a lot of needs and a lot of people calling you with different ideas for what they need to see. How do you guys kind of strategize on on what you and, and prioritize these projects? So most of them, again, because it's data driven, we take that five year crash history and then create a um, high injury network. And then we focus on those priorities and corridors as like our top safety installations when we look at projects. Sure. And it's not just Vision Zero, it's all programs throughout the city and okay. CDOT. Absolutely. Okay, and so what else do you have planned the rest of the year? Um, again, uh, we are constantly in contact with residents and uh, field those concerns and investigate those crossing opportunities. We have several locations in construction of new pet hybrid beacons, RFBs, um, street lighting, and uh, we have an upcoming event called Safety Fest in August that um, we can find, we'll have more about on our website soon. Absolutely, I know you have a lot of information on your website, we're sharing it. The email right there, as well as the phone number so they can get in contact with you guys. Um, but yeah, if you go online, you can read all about the different initiatives that you have going on. We appreciate you joining us this yeah, morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. A shocking moment for families at a wrestling meet in Concord. A parent assaulting a referee now facing charges. The details behind this startling